The Giant Nepenthes Expedition is a 16-day eco-tour that takes you to three incredible mountains in Southeast Asia to observe the largest and most spectacular carnivorous pitcher plants of the world. Nepenthes Raja, Nepenthes Edwardsiana, Nepenthes Macrophylla, Nepenthes Loei, and the recently discovered Nepenthes Atamborei. Starting in Kota Kinabalu in Malaysian Borneo, we travel to the foothills of the spectacular Mount Kinabalu to warm up with an easily accessible first sight. Crossing a stunning gorge, we climb up to well-managed landslide habitat to observe populations of the giant Nepenthes Raja, a species discovered in the 19th century and famed for trapping animals as big as rats. Also growing here are elegant Nepenthes Burbage plants with beautifully coloured traps. We then transfer to the base of Mount Tambuyukon for the start of our first mountain. We begin the trek walking through spectacular lowland rainforest, and we soon see our first Nepenthes, Nepenthes rainwatiana. We camp in forests in the tents and explore the beautiful jungle, crossing dry riverbeds, and we may see local wildlife, including spectacular giant millipedes, trilobite beetles, long columns of termites, and even gibbons. Along the way, we can enjoy refreshing swims in beautiful jungle streams beneath a canopy of rainforest trees. On the second day of the ascent, we pass by giant buttress root trees and tall strangler figs. We then see beautiful Nepenthes burbage plants in cloud forest. A little higher up, we encounter one of the most incredible carnivorous plants of the world, Nepenthes edwardsiana. This species is famed for its striking peristome with knife-edged blades. The next morning, we begin our ascent up to the summit and climb up to see beautiful views over the Bornean landscape, with Mount Kinabalu looming on the horizon. Reaching the summit is an amazing experience. On the upper slopes of Mount Tambuyukon, we can photograph spectacular populations of Nepenthes velosa. And also find Nepenthes raja, and hybrids between the two called Nepenthes kinabaloensis. The cloud forest is dripping with exquisite orchids. And then, after a full day, we start our descent down Tambuyukon to begin the next peak. Back in the lowlands, we visit a traditional fruit market to savour the exotic and delicious local fruits, including snake fruit, dragon fruit, and the notorious durian, famed for its strange smell, but surprisingly tasty flesh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's just the smell, dude. I can't do it. Good? Delicious. Oh. Surely the king of fruits. <laughs> You'll insult the, the locals. <laughs> I can't do that. Our next mountain is Mount Trismadi, a few hours' drive from Mount Tambuyukon. We trek out into the forest and begin the climb, once again seeing beautiful orchids and the pitcher plants, Nepenthes rhinwartiana and Nepenthes fusca. And we camp that evening on the slopes of the mountain for the night. For those that want to, an early start around the campfires reveal unforgettable sunrise views as the epic scale of Borneo's wilderness is revealed in the early morning light. We then return to climbing and ascend into some of the most beautiful and pristine mossy cloud forest found anywhere in the world. Here, we see stunning Nepenthes macrophylla plants with their pitchers lined with teeth reminiscent of Nepenthes edwardsiana and also the diminutive but beautiful Nepenthes tentaculata. The views from the summit are breathtaking, especially when the cloud rolls in. And around the summit area, we find many Nepenthes loea plants, which are so plentiful that they dangle right over the path. This remarkable species has evolved pitchers that are shaped in the form of toilets. And amazingly, 
they're actually used exactly for that purpose by tree shrews and birds. And if we're lucky, we'll find a few specimens of the incredibly rare and beautiful hybrid, Nepenthes trismardiensis. After a full day of exploring, it's time to descend and return back to the lowlands. A short flight from Borneo to the island of Palawan in the Philippines takes us to our next destination, Mount Victoria, a spectacular ultramathic massif only explored for the first time by botanists in 2007. <laughs> Travelling to the base of Mount Victoria by tricycle, we begin climbing our third and final mountain. The porters load up and we start out once more into the forest. Soon, we see spectacular populations of Nepenthes philippinensis, which grow along the riverbanks and climb up into the casuarina trees. And we often see colorful land crabs and flamboyant land planarians. The slopes of Mount Victoria have many rivers which we must cross carefully. But slowly we reach the upper slopes of the mountain, home to pink ferns and beautiful views. And it's here where we camp for the night. On the rocks above the campsite, we can see delicate but beautiful flowers of the small carnivorous plant, Utricularia. And then we begin the final assault to the mountain top. Climbing up, the views from Mount Victoria are simply awe-inspiring. And up here, in this pristine lost world, we find the giant pictures of Nepenthes atomborei. This enormous pitcher plant was only discovered in 2007, yet it's one of the largest of all carnivorous pitcher plants currently known. On a previous expedition, we observed, for the very first time, a dead shrew inside one of the giant traps. And on returning one month later, we found that it had been reduced to a dry husk, digested by the giant pitchers. And inside the beautiful pitchers of Nepenthes atomborei, there's a miniature world of unique life that has yet to be studied. Who knows, we may very well be looking at yet more new species. We even found on a previous trip up here, three new orchid species that are completely unknown to science. And amongst the Nepenthes atomborea plants grow stands of the glistening kind of sundew, Drosera ultramathica. These plants with their sticky red leaves kill insects. And if the weather is on our side, we end our climb with one of the most spectacular summit views there is, taking in the twin peaks of Victoria itself and both of Palawan's beautiful coastlines stretching far into the distance below. 